Now Democrats want another round of payoffs. This payoff is even more expensive than the last one. Democrats are promising payoffs to all their favorite groups, climate activists, left-wing professors, trial lawyers, union bosses. This bill, this reckless tax and spending bill, includes one liberal priority after another. And even as we face the worst border crisis in the last two decades, Democrats are now promising amnesty and citizenship and voting rights for millions of illegal immigrants. Once they get amnesty, then they get all the other Democrat payoffs as well. This is going to lead to an additional tidal wave of illegal immigration. And all of this has a price tag and someone has to pay. Democrats do not tell nice stories. Republicans do the math. This bill is so expensive that Democrats will have to go after every working family in America in order to pay for it. One way or another, every working American will end up paying for this. There's not some rich person who's going to be able to pay for all of this. There aren't enough rich people on earth to pay for this level of spending. Democrats are going to go after the majority of the people in this country, and of course that is the middle class. That's exactly what they intend to do with this bill, because this bill is going to raise taxes on family farms and ranches. According to the accounting firm Ernst & Young, this bill, this spending bill that Nancy Pelosi is demanding go to the Senate, from the Senate to the House before any infrastructure bill is passed, that it would limit 80, eliminate 80,000 jobs over 10 years. The bill would raise taxes on small businesses, which are already struggling to stay open because of the Democrat policies. Anyone who sells their home will pay thousands and thousands more in taxes. Now, this is also going to include a carbon import tax, which will drive up prices even higher. The bill would be a socialist takeover of our economy, more taxes, more spending, more debt, more government, eating into people's paychecks, eating into their savings. There's not a single Republican in the House or in the Senate who's going to support this reckless tax and spending spree. We need to stop this freight train to socialism. We don't have a taxing problem in this country, Mr. President. We have a spending problem. Inflation is already high enough. We know what the cause is. We know it's the cause of the excessive Democrat spending, and this is going to make it worse. Families across this country are struggling right now to make ends meet. Family businesses are struggling to stay open, and it is time to stop this reckless tax and spending spree. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.